I'm wondering, have you ever used when you're directing, have you ever used improvisation as a way for the actors to explore their characters and to get to different parts of the moments of the scene, just the improvisational well, method? Well, as a as an actor, yes, definitely. And Linda, are you still there? I am. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I will speak to that in a second with Linda, because we did almost an entire movie <laughs> in, okay. in that fashion. Um, as an actor, I've done it. As a director, I, I the, th the three films that I've directed, I had so little time. I had such a low budget and such a short shooting schedule. I did not have the luxury of being able to, to explore improvisational kind of work. I, I, because I had to have it done every, I was you know, on an incredibly strict schedule. So I, I couldn't really explore that. But, but as an actor, we've had, I've had that experience. And what I was alluding to is Linda and I did a movie back in like 1981 called Leo and Lori. And by the way, people have been seeing it. I hear it's on Amazon Plus, something like that, Linda. I am going to have to look for it. Yeah, Amazon Plus. And, we, Leo and, and, and what happened was, this is an interesting story. Ron Howard came to me, um, I don't know, it was the third season of Happy Days. And he said, I want to make a film to as a calling card to show that I can direct. Wait, Ron directs? Yeah, yeah. So, so he, he thought that maybe he could do this, right? Um, anyway, so he came to me and he says, "I have an idea for a story. I'd like you to play the lead. We could develop it together." And um, and he told me the story, and then it involved um, my character, but then another a female character that was going to be the main character opposite me, and and Ron knew knew Linda because. Um, she had done several episodes of Happy Days, and I, I had introduced Linda to some of the people, and and she wound up playing R Ron's girlfriend, Richie's girlfriend, in the first season, and he really liked Linda, and he said, what if we brought Linda in to play opposite you? And he said, I want to do it in an experimental way, where we we derive the script from the improvisations. So Linda and I would we know what the scenes were about, but we would do we would do complete improvisations of the scenes with a tape recorder, and then we had a writer who would then take everything we improvised and and fab, you know confab it into a script into a scene, and so most of the film script was was created from those improvisations that we did. And did so you get paid for writing it? <laughs> no, we did not. <laughs> but, Tricky directors. Yeah, so that was an interesting process, Linda. You know, it, it really great. was. It was great. I think my favorite day on the set we were shooting. Well, we filmed in everybody's apartment. My apartment, Donnie, probably yours. Uh, we, you know, it was we. There was there was no money affiliated with this whatsoever. So we were shooting on an Easter Sunday. And Mrs. Howard arrived in an electric blue uh, Easter bunny suit. All that was appearing was her cherub face with a huge basket of you know, peanut butter, jelly sandwiches, and eggs. <laughs> By God, we were going to have Easter Sunday. So she provided lunch that day. But it, you know, it just spoke to the Howard family and how. Oh my God! They yes. Are and how remarkable. <laughs> they were yeah. and, uh, you know family above all else so we had our easter brunch and carried on filming <laughs> yeah. they, was, and 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 ron's dad was in the crew yeah, and his, yeah. His brother Everybody was in the crew in. that was the first time around they were a legendary family between rance and ron and clint i mean just yeah. you know it's just amazing <laughs>